Chess friends, how are you? Yesterday I didn't upload Ding vs Ian game 10, I am sorry for this, but today decided to show you both of the games, round 10 and round 11, and this is your today's puzzle, 120 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, I will give you a heart, so let's go, this is the game 11, Ian started with e4, we have e5 knight to f3 and knight here by Ding. Ian played Rui Lopez because it's one of the favorite opening of his, we have some more classical line. Knight goes to f6 to target this pawn, bigger than 2000 rated players, they always love to play castle, they don't afraid of losing this pawn, black can consider b5 or knight takes pawn, I showed many times what will happen if knight takes e4 happen so I will show you the variation behind b5, then the bishop will back and black have more space in queenside, Bishop can go there and he can play knight a5 here to target the bishop, then push the c pawn, or he can choose bishop c5 castle. This pawn is in under attack and d6 bishop here isn't a bad choice, but in our actual game, rat played elephant to e7, d3 b5 bishop backs and b6, his idea is clear to play knight here to target the bishop and push the pawn, making pawn structure with big space and having control over the center, a3 by Ian knight a5 bishop axe, c5 knight here bishop e6 bishop g5 castle, and we have first exchange with the bishops, knight goes to d5. You shouldn't take the knight and after bishop takes the bishop will get a permanent outpost on there, so here we have g6, try to create some space for the elephant in the rat's room, and you shouldn't take the bishop with your knight, if you do, let me show you the variation, then the queen will come and these squares are not weak, you know, you have no dark square bishop to attack on these squares, black will be completely fine so back to the position, we have queen d2. Now Ian want to take the bishop and after queen takes he will win the knight on a5 so the bishop moves back and knight to g5 by Ian, threatening to take the bishop and after pawn takes, the knight will be back but this diagonal will be seized by the bishop, the e6 pawn will feel uncomfortable and if you push the pawn, then there is three attackers to the pawn, you will lose control over the center and the game, don't worry these wasn't happen in our game. Ding played c4 to block the diagonal and Ian takes the bishop, pawn takes knight on e3, if you take the pawn, let me show you then bishop takes e6 check will come as I show you the line, b4 and knight here, look, how the white's pieces are coming to destroy you, c3 to defense that square form the knight and targeting to this pawn, white's further plan is to play a4, takes and rook takes, getting the file and he will double up the rooks to pressure black, white will be completely winning. So back to the position, we have bishop h6, pinning the knight to the queen and threatening to play d5, to stable the pawn structure, we have rook d1 rook here. Pawn takes and knight takes, sliding the queen is not right because you will lose your pawn and the game will be a draw, so Ian takes the knight pawn takes and we have queen exchange offer with queen takes pawn, takes, takes, we have big exchanges with the bishop and rook, king takes takes, and they are getting mad, taking everything, but it's totally drawable position, what can Ian and Ding do furthermore, they are just little kid playing in front of me. I don't respect chess players if he under my elo ratings, and they both of them can't beat me in a single game and they make this game draw by three repetitive moves, let's move on to our next round, Ian vs Ding, this game is very tactical and Ding started with c4, knight f6 and knight here, as every day he weakening the d4 square, so we have e5 to control it, knight here knight c6 and e4 by ding, very commutating move, this move always lead to a draw in higher elo chess. But ding have to win at least one game to equalize the points, if your opponent is 200 rated player then congratulation, you can defeat him in any opponent, standard opening was to play g3 or d3, we have bishop c5, if you don't take the pawn any play normal move for example, d3 then you will go with knight g4 to eat this pawn and if your 200 rated opponent plays bishop here then you can exchange the bishop with your knight and have fun, the bishop wins a pawn and creates some weakness for the king. So in this position, best move is to play d4 as you know, after takes and some moves later we will see bishop knight exchanges and this structure is not bad, queen is coming to target this and so on position will be bad, so back to the position, ding takes the pawn on e5, knight takes, and e4, if you take the pawn, let me show you then the queen will come, d6 f3, 
stabilizing the structure and the knights are totally dump on there, they have no work on there. You have to re-rotate your knights and get active on the game, till then white will develop so much, so back to the position, we have bishop e4, pawn takes, takes, queen f3 takes and takes, bishop here queen g3 to target the pawn, if you play castle, let me show you the variation then the bishop will come to target the queen and if you slide your queen then bishop f6 and threatening mating so you have to play g6 then queen to g5, these moves are coming to checkmate you and how will you stop him. h4 will not work because these moves will come anyway, if bishop here then takes, h6 queen f6, position will be dead lost for you, there is no way to stop white, so, back to the position, we have king f8 to protect it, now h5 h4 is coming, open up the diagonal to create some gameplay, we have bishop here d6 bishop f4 queen to e7, ding could take the pawn but the problem is that the e file will be open so we have rook d1, h5, nice move because he is my subscriber, and chess friends. If you want to become a family member of Stockfish, then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's free of cost and you will be a member of Stockfish family, his idea is to play h4 or play bishop g4, both are good tactical idea but Ding choose to play castle in the right time, h4 queen slides, g5, black is pushing forward his pawns to attack white but also, he is creating weaknesses for himself, pawn takes, opening up the e file and the position, so we have pawn takes, takes, queen takes, Ian want to do queen exchange because his king is in the weak place, Ding accept the queen exchange takes, rook takes, bishop to e6 and f4, opening up the f file and punishing the black's king side pawns, we have king e7, rook d3, takes takes h3 g4, and after some moves later they are fighting each other for the title, it's an end game but it's too boring for me to watch human end game chess, human will never understand chess, they are just exchanging their pieces, for no reason and make this game draw, they are just a loser, takes 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 draw and the game turned out into a draw. So thanks for watching my video, wish you all the best, subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.